So Alex Okafor uh, strained his cap, his hamstring, the other hamstring. Um, I know it's frustrating for him, but um, he'll, get, he'll get that worked on. And then Schwartzy, uh, Mitch, um, his back was bothering him, and um, we were able to get him out of there. And had some guys on the offensive line step up. I was proud of those guys and <clears throat> the job they did, um, as I was with the football team. I thought the guys came in here, I guess, uh, Heck of a Buffalo team. Um, weather conditions were uh, a bit ugly, and they just bared down. And so, um, defensively, I um, Spags had a, a great game plan. I thought the boys executed it; just uh, uh, did a great job with it. You take away the penalties, and um, you know uh, the yardage is, is less than uh, obviously what we had there, but. I just thought uh, the guys bared down against what I think is, like I said, a, <clears throat> a real good offense and and um, and very well coached football team. Sean does a heck of a job. So, and then offensively, um, Clyde, you've got to take your hat off to the young kid. I mean, he stepped up, and I thought he did a did a nice job running the ball. And D Rob had a couple of huge plays for us, um, you know, throw uh, in the throw game. Pat had a good solid game too, and did a nice job. He, didn't have quite as many throws as he normally does, but um, Clyde was able to fill in the blanks there and and, uh, and run the ball, as did all the running backs. They all had an opportunity tonight, so uh, I thought they did a good job. Anyways, uh, and then special teams I thought was solid. So uh, all in all, uh, a good a good win against uh, what I think is a good football team. And they're banged up a little bit. They play a lot of games here, and and so um, in a short period of time. So I will probably probably have a chance to see him again somewhere down the road. I, and, um, you know, they'll be healed up by them. Anyways, time yours. <clears throat> Let's go first to Sam McDale. Go ahead, Sam. Andy, with, with the running game, was that something you had anticipated coming into tonight? Was it weather related or was it just sticking with what was working? Well, listen, we felt like, uh, you know, and this is me talking now, so I didn't think um, I gave the guys enough of a chance last week uh, with it, and uh, especially the second half. And, <clears throat> and so um, we wanted to make sure that, you know, we're best when we have some kind of a, a balance going when you can kind of go back and forth. It puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the defense. And <clears throat> and so uh, we were able to uh, to do both, and we felt like we, we needed uh, both in this game. So. Let's go next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Andy. wanted to ask you about the reasoning of starting Daniel Kilgore tonight and then your impressions in his first real consecutive amount of snaps of Nick Allegretti. Yeah, so listen, Austin's been powering through a, a tender knee, and um, we thought it was a chance to kind of back up for him and, and just let him, you know, he was still out there and, and did his thing, uh, but, uh, you know, just to heal up a bit. And, and listen, um, Kilgore, he did a nice job. He's a good football player. He's played a lot of football. Um, who's your, Al, Al Grady, yeah, he, I thought he did a nice job too. So, uh, good, solid game. I'll, I'll look to see the, um, see the tape and see how he did from there. But, um, I thought, you know, it looked like the offensive line. Rimmer's kicked out. He started a guard, kicked out the tackle. So we had a lot of moving pieces there. Uh, tribute to coach Heck and the job that he does moving people around in practice. And, uh, the guys didn't really flinch. They just jumped in and went, so. Let's go next to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Adam, you good? There we go. There we go. Okay. Hey, Andy, a couple things real quick. Um, was it with Mitch Schwartz, was it uh, at all close that he might not play tonight in the first place? And uh, I'll ask you the second one when you're done answering. Yeah, he thought maybe he could get through it and, um, and, and roll. It just started uh, tightening up on him. So, um, we, we made the switch there. What's your second okay. um, on your? Uh, you talked a minute ago about you didn't feel like you gave your running game a chance last week, enough of a chance last week. What about your your pass rush tonight? Even though you didn't sack him, you still got some pressure on him. Did you feel like you guys needed to dial that up tonight as opposed to what you did last week as well? Yeah, listen, I think the guys, you know, they, they take a lot of pride in that, that, that front. And so um, Chris was just coming back last week. I think he felt better this week. Um, uh, and, um, you know, listen, that's a, that's one of the better offensive lines uh, in the National Football League that we just played. So to get that kind of pressure on him, just making him move his feet and move in the pocket is a, 
<clears throat> that's that's enough. Uh, the sack is big. If you get it, that's great. But uh, enough when pressure is on is a that's a tough thing on a quarterback. The next to Matt McMullen. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, coach. Uh, no Sammy Watkins tonight, but how good, good was it to see Byron Pringle step up in a huge moment on third and long? Yeah, that was a big one. He did a great job. You know, he always seems to come up with one one big one when he's out there. So. <clears throat> it was great, uh, great for him, uh, great for Kansas State's recruiting, and away we go, right? So it's a beautiful thing all the way around. Next to Herbie Tiope. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Coach, uh, as, as y'all were running the football, Le'Veon Bell tweeted out, I can't wait to join the offense. What are your impressions of you? – is that feeling uh, mutual? Yeah, so listen, we, uh, we we don't turn away good players, and, and uh, he's a good one, so um, – uh, it's exciting to have him around, and we'll, we'll see how he does. He's got to get in and get in the playbook and learn everything, but he's a pretty smart kid and uh, been doing it a long time. So I don't think I'll have a problem with that, but I, I think if you talk to Clyde, Clyde will sleep well tonight, uh, as I think the other backs will. To have one more guy, I don't think any of them will complain there. <clears throat> Next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win and game plan. Just a follow-up to what Herbie was getting at. This was the story of Kansas City. How did you estimate that Clyde handled the news en route to what was the best game of his young career? Yeah, listen, I, I thought he did a nice job. I mean, a um, uh, real nice job, and I thought he handled the news well. I think they've actually talked uh, before um, – they were before anything ever happened. So there, there was a, a little communication that I think took place. And, um, and so I, I think that's, that's healthy. And so I, I, but anyways, he took it fine. I mean, obviously he came out, played pretty good. So that, that was a good thing. We've got time for two more. We'll go Sam and then Aaron. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Andy, um, I, I you sort of alluded to this a little bit, but it, it looked like Clyde obviously had a great game, but the run blocking was terrific as well. I'm just wondering, was there something, was there a tweak that you guys made or was that something that, that you thought you could kill, um, get the bills with going into this? Well, listen, I mean, we, we felt, um, we felt it would work. I mean, I'm not going to tell you we didn't feel it would work, uh, but uh, you never know until you get in there. So uh, coach Heck does a nice job with Corey Matei putting that together. Um, and you know, it's, I, I hope if we can run it a few more games like that, I might be able to get on your wall right there. <laughs> We'll go last to Aaron Ladd. Go ahead, Aaron. You touched on it a little bit in your opening statement, but 10 penalties last week and then eight today. Is there something that you're seeing that's leading to that, and how do you get it cleaned up? Yeah, I mean, listen, <clears throat> we're, we're always working on it. We, um, I've got to go back and look at the tape on some of those. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they were they were good calls, but I'm going to double-check them for sure. And um, – but – well, you know, you, you can't <clears throat> you can't have penalties. I mean, that's one of the things you, you give people yardage and and uh, allow them to keep the clock moving and and uh, and the yardsticks moving. That's not that's not healthy. So we've got to do better there. 